Okay, welcome to War Thunder with Mad Kite. Um, I've been playing with all the graphics settings, which you'll see the screen in the background. And basically, what I've found is that the main thing which makes a difference to the graphics is the trees range. The trees, at some point, they seem to have increased the uh, the quality of them quite a lot, and this has really, really had a large knock-on effect on the frame rate. Now, at least this is what I found it has. The other thing I reduced slightly is terrain resolution. If you've got a graphics card, if you suddenly get it jerking quite badly when you're doing things, then it's probably because you're running out of memory on the graphics card, and reducing that a little bit helps a lot with that. But reducing the trees range increases your frame rate hugely. And... Uh, if you don't mind the slight drop in detail of the trees, well, what happens is they, the detail, if you drop it too low, you can see the trees pop into a sharper detail in your view. But quite frankly, I'm prepared to put up with that for a much, much higher frame rate. So now let's uh, go into War Thunder and look at the frame rate on full graphics and um, after we've made these alterations. The other thing I should just add is because I'm recording the video at 30 frames a second, the frame rate will not um, increase to what it would if I wasn't recording a video. It would be stuck at 30. But normally it would be, I'd be, I, I run with the V-Sync on because I get screen tearing. So normally it will, uh, it will be running much higher. But you, you can't really see that in, because of the recording software here. But I can assure you it, goes much much faster on at least my computer. Okay so this is War Thunder with all the graphics turned on full and everything enabled. Now you'll see the frame rate in the corner if this frame rate if that frame rate counter is working. Anyway I can see my uh, Fraps frame rate counter which you won't. And basically every time you look at the trees you can tell it becomes jerky and slow it's it's really something most people have complained about. We'll take our plane up and have a quick fly around. We'll do it in cockpit. Now one of the things I used to get is if you rolled quickly, the frame rate would disappear. And one of the things to notice is when the frame rate starts to go down low, what's on the screen? Well, the main thing on the screen are those pesky megaflora, mega wouldn't it? <laughs> the trees. The trees are what mainly slow this game down then start making it jerk every time I fire my guns like that and it's really horrible so I'm going to go and adjust those settings we looked at earlier look at it, way down the frame rate and um, then we're going to chop this tree down oh hey, I'm going to go and adjust the frame rate the settings and we'll have a look again now We've reset the graphics settings and it's much, much smoother. You can't really see much difference in the quality at all, but it's smooth and fast all the time. We'll take our plane up again and do it. And so this is just adjusting the trees down to about one third of full detail and depending on how much RAM your video card has, if it doesn't have enough, as mine's a few years old now, then adjusting that too. So it's, it has a bit less terrain detail. Now sometimes you can occasionally see pop into more detail because you've lowered it a bit but 
to be honest, for having a nice smooth frame rate, I think that's quite worthwhile. There's no jerking. We'll go over the top and find those trees. Going number four, when we got up to these trees, the frame rate went right down really low. So, yep, you can see the trees popping there, but it probably set a bit low. But it's just to demonstrate that the main thing that seems to kill the frame rate in this game, see if it's fire my guns, smooth, nothing's going. The main thing that seems to kill the frame rate in this game is the terrain detail and the trees. The trees are what seem to kill it. So, if you're having trouble with frame rate, I would suggest trying that. It may not fix everyone's problem, but it certainly cured mine. 